here we are, a very pivotal point in the road, the border of the Waitakere Ranges Regional Park. And it's got around about 250 kilometers of walking track where local people and about a million visitors a year come here. But there's a massive problem going on at the moment and it means that that enjoyment of nature is under threat. There's been a development which is this. Here you can kind of see where people used to spray their boots with disinfectant and there's quite a clear sign telling people to remove all soil from footwear because of this thing called cowrie dieback which is a pathogen that's in the soil that infects the cowrie trees it's the end of the line for people walking here it's got to the state where in the last five years the trees that have been killed off by carry dieback have doubled. The projections that scientists are doing, it looks like within 20 years or something, they'll all, they'll all have gone if these tracks stay open. In some ways, it's a, it's a great thing that these tracks are now closed off, but there's a problem. The council at a recent meeting did not close all the tracks which seems really weird why would you close some of them and leave some of them open do you know what the name of this track is hey? do you know what the name of the track is Pardon? do you know what the name of this track is oh. hillary jane have you heard of something called cowrie dieback no is that the thing where you like brush your feet? Yeah. yeah. Did you? Was there a was there a station yeah, yeah. there? Did yeah. you? Do you mind me asking if you did that? Uh, no. We no, didn't. we didn't. Yeah. Well, so we wanted to get to the top of the hill. <laughs> oh, so so you didn't brush your feet today? No, no, no. Oh. Do you know how the the cowrie dieback is spread? Uh, no, no clue. No idea. No. That was really interesting. These guys were in such a hurry they didn't have time to use the cleaning facilities here. I'm just going to have a look and see where those cleaning facilities are. I mean, how long does it take to clean your shoes? It means they didn't even look at the signs. They did nothing. And that's been probably going on for many years. They're just not using the stations, the cleaning stations. So that's just appalling. Guess what's here? It's a cowrie. Yep. And look, look what's down here. There's a route, the sort of thing that you shouldn't be walking on with muddy shoes. Yeah, all around this is cowardly. These tracks are basically footways to passing on infection, which is really scary. And look here, there's no cleaning station. Walk down, nothing. I'm not actually gonna go any further, and I'm gonna go back. What makes me really sad is the fact that appropriate measures haven't been put in place and people are still traveling here. Just look at these cars, just in the car park. All stacked up with people going on a walk with no idea that they're walking into a quarantine zone. Pretty crazy, pretty, pretty crazy. It's another case of us not really taking nature seriously and the impact that we have upon it. I suppose it's part of our human nature of being greedy and uncaring. And I suppose if we want to save the cowrie, we've actually got to change our attitude completely and be a bit more selfless rather than selfish and work to saving this beautiful tree and the uh, surrounding forest. Yeah, that's what we need to do.